Hello, this is just a quick tutorial for those who are having problems um, installing Caesar for the uh, Steam version. So, we're assuming that um, you have already installed Steam, you've registered, you've uh, got the application icon up, um, but the problem you're hitting is you're getting various errors or you're hitting the launch button and it's just not starting okay so those are the issues that uh, we're going to be addressing here today and um, it's fairly straightforward well, and the information is already out there but um, I've uh, compiled it all together and uh, hopefully it should help a few people out there I know it took me a, a little while to get it all, but um, I eventually got it going and um, I now have Caesar 4 up and running. Now this is the, as I say, this is the Steam version. So you don't uh, need any CDs as such. You've obviously gone onto Steam and as the icon shows here, you've uh, got it at least installed at this point. Now, okay, so I'm going to go through four steps. The first one is user access control. This is uh, something Microsoft introduced, I think, in Windows 7. But um, you basically need a lot more rights, um, administrative rights. So we go down here to the start button, type MS config hit enter and it'll come up like this you then select tools and then in here you'll look for user access control which is this one UAC then launch that now this button here may be up here or here or here but you basically you don't want it it's a pain I don't know why they introduced it and you don't want it so put it down here and click OK mine's already set um, when you do that it will ask you to reboot so restart your PC as normal you go here and restart okay then you come back on and then we go to stage two so as I say the Caesar 4 is already installed it's just not launching properly or giving you various errors so you need to go into this folder let me just expand that a little bit in case you've got a your PCs are different resolution. Let's just make that a little bit bigger for you. Okay, so I'm just going to select that. Copy. Bring up File Manager. Paste it here. And that's a folder. So that's your Caesar 4 folder after you did the install and you go down here and you'll see register dll.bat okay register dll.bat okay now what you're going to want to do is left click on it once so it's highlighted and then right click and do run as administrator okay you run that and it will register some dll's into Windows. Okay, straightforward. There's the path. C program files x86 Steam Steam apps common Caesar 4 C4. Now your path might be different if you've installed it in a different location, but I've left it as the default, and that's where it will be for certainly for the English version, I don't know if it's different for different languages 
but um, I'm sure you can work it through. I will then restart your PC. Um, you may not need to in this instance, but you know it's always good to restart your PC just in case. For some people at this stage, they will launch Caesar 4 and it will be working. Okay. Um, we've still got a couple of more other steps for those who find it still not working. Okay. The third one is back in the same folder again. You'll see you've got the Caesar 4 um, executable application. You right click on it, so you're using the right button, and then you look at the properties. Down here, properties. And in here, the second tab, compatibility. Now, I've set mine to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. You might use Service Pack 3, or there might be a different version, but that one works for me, so I'm happy. And then click OK. And then try and launch it at that point. So I've, I've got, I've done a tick, run this in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. You don't need to reboot your PC. Um, you should just try and launch it and see if it works for you. Um, as I said, it didn't work for me and uh, I had to go to <laughs> step four. Okay, so step four. Download and install DirectX. This is the uh, end user runtime. Okay, so let me just copy that. And we go on to, let's say, here we go. I can, I can do it in a new tab, but it will come up to the same place. Obviously you need to be connected to the internet, and it just takes you to a Microsoft site. Microsoft, and then here you've got the download. And this is what we're looking for. Direct XC end user runtime. Now, if you've got Caesar 4 in a different language, you may need to select a different language for your Direct X. Um, if not, uh, if you're using the English version, I suggest just leave it on the default. Hit download. And then you'll have a file here. So save and I'll save mine to the downloads folder here save that okay so now that I've downloaded it I need to install it okay so let me go to my downloads folder here we go highlight that right click run as administrator and that will install the program. Just go through the steps, use the defaults, next, 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 and at the end of it, when it's finished, then restart your PC. And that is it. That is all you need to do. Um, okay, there are a few steps. I'll just expand that a little bit as well, just so it's easy for everyone to read. There you go, HTTPS, www.microsoft.com, slash EM minus US download details. There you have it. Okay, so now when you double click, uh, I mean, I would reboot as well, just in case, but um, when you double click, you should get this. Um, just launch. Okay, with those four steps, you should be able to run Caesar 4 successfully. This is the first video I'm making in the Caesar 4 series. Um, don't forget to like and leave a comment. Thank you.